I've always thought that science was very, very cool. I've always enjoyed learning as much as I can about science. When I look at an understanding of how things work, it's like a beautiful picture. Say you go somewhere, a museum, you see this beautiful picture, and you want to show it to your friends and say, come look at this. You need to see this. It's fantastic. I want my students to see the universe through my eyes. You never know what kind of spark you're going to ignite. There's so many children that come into this world that come in less ideal situations. Maybe they will find something, even if it's not astronomy related, but science related, math, that will spark an interest in them that they know that they can have a goal to reach and see that others have done it. And I think that's more important than anything else is giving them an idea that they can do anything that they set their mind to. The shift of the telluric line versus the extragalactic line, the absorption shifts by 20, 30 kilometers. And then if you are unlucky, then the extragalactic signal moves into the absorption of the atmosphere. And then, then it's gone. Most of what we're seeing here are commands being sent by the science instrument to the telescope assembly. So. The community and our students, they have really embraced this. You can just see the excitement when we talk about it in class and open up a whole new pathway to introduce the electromagnetic spectrum into their level of knowledge. You know, before we would talk about it, but, but now we've got like uh, a place and an activity that uh, they can relate back to. Oh, infrared, so that's that observatory you're gonna be flying on, right, Mr. Belts? And, and, and they'll just ask all kinds of questions and it's, it's sparked all kinds of interest. biggest thing that I'm walking away with this is just the complexity of Sophia. How cutting edge, how complicated this thing is, and how a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds are working together under the umbrella of Sophia to make this incredible piece of machinery work and get really good data back from it. I think that in having educators on the flight and giving us the ability to walk around and talk to the scientists and talk to the telescope operators and the directors or even the pilots, I think that's giving us the opportunity to gather information that we may have never had before or things that we can take back to our community or take back to our colleagues even to talk to them about the things that we've experienced. I think that um, having these flights with teachers, I think that is actually giving us a look inside of something that you normally wouldn't have. I'm really adding to that toolbox of examples that I can use in the classroom. And, and I think it makes it more, more interesting for the students, and I think it inspires them.